Hi folks, I thought it would be good just to give you an update on uh, Topsy Turvy, the, uh, the NAS server um, that I've been building. Um, the case is pretty much, well it's, it's complete to the point of being functional. Um, as always with case modding, I'll probably end up doing some tweaks. But as you can see, we have the case flipped. I do apologise that it's a, it's a little dark in here. The light isn't brilliant. Let's just uh, let's just pause the video and see if we can get a bit more light. Okay, I've now got the thing laid down, so it's a little bit easy just to see what's going on in there. So um, basically, we've um, to all intents and purposes on the outside, it, it looks pretty much like the case would normally. But as you can see, we've been able to flip it over, and our power supply is mounted in the bottom down here. Um, just need to have a look in there. You can probably just see. I hope you can just see the. Um, SFX power supply. Obviously, the ATX power supply was too big. Um, on the top here, we've got. Let's see if we can get into that. Um, an 80 millimeter fan for cooling. We've got a 92 millimeter fan at the back, also for cooling. That bleep was the uh, system booting up and then we've got the stock cooler at the moment and that is quite good, that's keeping my temperatures down at, at um, a good level when I first started this and I didn't have the cooling for the hard drives they were edging towards 60 degrees which is not good now they tend to be about 35 degrees which is much better in there we've got um, two Western Digital Ecaru 1 terabyte hard drives they run at 5400 RPM um, because they are storage drives and not system drives we don't need the full RPM on those and then there's a disk at the bottom as well which is just a 40 gigabyte Maxdoor Fireball drive that's an IDE drive that's a system drive on which FreeNAS is installed to be honest with you it uses up a very very small fraction of that um, so I do have it running as a storage server but I haven't been able to quite get it set up as a print server I'm still trying to configure that. I've been following um, some instructions on instructables on how to do it but it just doesn't seem to quite work for me. Um, it all seems to go fine but I just can't get Windows to, to print to it so that's in both Windows 7 and Windows XP so I'm not too sure whether I've configured this correctly or not. So that's pretty much how it looks. Um, cable management is okay. Um, I will tidy it up a little bit more as we go along. Things that I might do is open this up a little bit. Really, you can't do anything. It's all wasted space because you just can't get anything in there. I wanted to mount the system drive in there. I just couldn't do it. Um, I had the brackets and everything, but you just can't get in. So they're all kind of crammed in here at the moment. Um, but as I said, this fan on the top's doing a good job of keeping them reasonably cool. So anyway, let's have a quick look at the um, the FreeNAS interface before we uh, stop. FreeNAS interface is easy enough, you just need to um, log on using your web browser, I use Chrome and once you're in you can basically tweak anything you want, you can even uh, well you set up your RAID array from here, I've got a RAID 1 uh, system set up um, we can check the status of the disks at any time, so if we click on that it will tell us the temperature is running at 23 degrees and 24 degrees which is absolutely brilliant, it will also tell us that the uh, RAID array is online. If there are any issues with that, that will show up in here. Um, if we actually go to the system home uh, screen, it will also give us the CPU temperature, which is absolutely brilliant. It tells us how much um, how much we've used of our storage. So if you could just see that on there, um, we've got a total of 902 gigabyte. We've used 62 gigabyte. We have 768 gigabyte free. Okay, it tells us what the current CPU usage is, 0% at the moment, and the total memory usage, 2%. We've just got 1.5 gigs of memory in this, don't need a lot. Um, I've also had this so that it's streaming two videos at the same time to two different computers, and it just it just loves it. Absolutely brilliant. So, as I say, I'm still playing about with this, but FreeNAS is really good because the actual server itself does not need a keyboard or a screen, so I can just pop that in the cupboard and control everything from any PC on the network, so that's really good. Anyway, that's a quick overview of where I am with uh, Project Topsy Turvy and the, uh, and the NAS server. Thanks for looking. Um, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe if you've not already done so.